What's up you guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how I make sales in affiliate marketing by selling digital products. So if you're in affiliate marketing and you haven't got your first sale or you're struggling to do that and you can't figure out why, one of the biggest things I did when I figured this game out was I created my own digital products. So hi everybody, my name is Ronnie Cotton, aka Dad Learns Money. I started out just like you. I was a struggling affiliate marketer. And in the beginning stages, it was very, very hard for me. Everything was new to me and I had limited resources and limited money. And it was hard to invest the way I wanted to. And I felt like I was doing everything I was being told in order to make sales, but really nothing wasn't happening. But what I figured out was, man, a lot of the people who are actually making money had their own products that tied in or aligned with their main core offer, which was the high ticket product that they were selling to where people like me and you will earn commissions from. So in this video, I'm gonna break down how I did that. I'm gonna give you four tips on how you can use them too. But a little bit about my digital products to give you an example. I have eBooks that I sell that break down these steps as well. You'll see those links down below in the description. And I use these digital products to educate my audience so that they'll see the value in purchasing my high ticket products and services. Now let's dive right into it. Now, the first tip I'm going to give you is one you've already heard of a lot of times, but it's very important, but I'm going to try and go a little bit deeper into it. And it's mindset shifting. In order to sell your digital products so that they leave the low and high ticket sales, you have to remember to serve over selling. So when you're promoting your digital products, don't promote the benefits like the features and the benefits and all the cool things that are coming inside the digital product, you wanna promote the problem that those people are having. When you promote the problem that people are having, it makes them feel like the product that you're selling pertains to them, it resonates with them. For example, if I was promoting a new digital product, I would not lead out with something like, hey, grab my affiliate marketing blueprint, all right? That's not gonna resonate with them as much as you saying something like, how I was able to quit my nine to five minimum wage paying job working 65 plus hours a week and made over whatever amount of money in two or three months that's going to hit them deeper because they may be in the same situation that you were or are and it's going to make them feel like that product pertains to them and they can resonate with it a whole lot more from there you're taking your own initial struggle and you're giving them the solution to the similar problem they could be having that you overcame now my second point about mindset shifting is you have to believe in abundance you have to understand that you're starting a new business and you're kind of like niching down so you may not see the growth you would like to see in the beginning let alone the sales but what you have to understand is also as long as you're being consistent and you're putting out this content for this specific group of people the sales are going to come right now focus more on connecting with your audience and building that relationship with them to where they get to know like and trust you to where they'll see the value in your products and they actually believe that you can help them go from point a to point b which brings me to tip number two share your journey Tell your story. Right now, you may think to yourself that your story is nothing amazing, especially if you haven't achieved the level of success that you feel like you're even credible or you have any authority, but that is something that you can use in your favor. Because you haven't achieved millions and millions of sales in your business, people may feel like you're closer to them than an actual guru. You're closer to where they are and you're closer to the trenches that they may be in right now. With that being said, you'll be able to understand on a more deeper level than anyone else who's achieved a larger amount of success than you have. Use that to your advantage. Tell the story from how you got out of that situation or how you see yourself getting out of that situation with the slow progress that you've had and lead them along the same path. The second thing is you want to tell your story because you want people to connect with you on social media or in your content. That's going to open the doors for them to get to know, like, and trust you. But if you don't tell them your background and be open and transparent about it, there's never going to be any connection. You're just going to be another guru talking about how they make money online and how they can too without that relationship. So they're going to look and explore other people as well. And you're just a tip person. 
You want to be a friend. You want to be a confident. You want to be somebody that they feel like they can listen to and understands their situations. And you can do that easily by just telling your story online to your audience, which brings us to creating good content. Now, a lot of people make this complicated and makes it so overwhelming and gives people anxiety when it comes to marketing online on social media platforms. By the way, you don't always have to use social media, but what you want to do in your content is alongside telling your story in the midst of your content, you want to create content that inspires your audience and you want to create content that educates your audience. And by doing those things, you're going to also motivate your audience to see the value in your products and then they'll ultimately make a purchase. So you have to create a mixture or a variety of these things so that they can see and understand the different aspects of this business. Now, if you're one of those people who who are afraid to show their face online that's okay too you can also do this through written content like blog posts or you can create infographics and post them on platforms like instagram or facebook there's also faceless videos or you can do voiceovers and do some presentations the point is you have to put something out there into the internet to where people know you even exist who are actually probably looking for you right now. And if you're one of those people that feels like, hey, I don't have any success, I don't have any proof. If you've purchased somebody's affiliate program and you're part of a private community of people who are having success, you can use them as testimonials and reviews of how this system actually works and help your audience understand that this proven system does work. It's already working for others, but it's definitely not gonna work for you if you never start. Also, you can use your own self as a case study. You can show people from where you were to where you are right now and show them the behind the scenes process of your journey. It doesn't matter if you just learned how to get a domain. It doesn't matter if you learn how to create your first digital product and what tools and softwares you probably use to do that. Show them what you're learning and how it's changing and transforming you to where people can see, hey, this person is just like me or overcame something that I'm struggling in right now. And I see that they're doing it too. So, hey, maybe it'll work for me as well. But if you're not putting out content and putting out content consistently, you're going to ruin that emotional bond and connection and trust from your audience. So you have to make sure that you're not only putting out content, but putting out good content and a variety of content consistently. Now, finally, once you've chosen a platform and you have your digital product that you're creating and you know who you're marketing to and what platform you're going to use to market them on, you want to create a compelling strategy just for that audience. Once you have those things in place, now you can have those call to actions that calls out your audience and lets them know that you're not only talking to them, but you have a product specifically for them that actually works and will get them the results that they're looking for. Your calls to action, once you know who your audience is, are going to be laser targeted. So you should be saying things like, if you're working over 60 hours a week, barely making any money to pay your rent and you feel like you're still up and you feel like even if you started a business, you don't have time to do so, this digital product is for you. In this digital product, I'm going to show you how I overcame that same challenge and how I turned X into Y and Z. Now, if you understand how this works and how powerful this is, your audience is going to connect with that because you're solving an immediate problem that they're having. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I make sales in affiliate marketing by marketing my digital products first and connecting with my audience through their immediate problem. And then I promote the crap out of it on social media by motivating, inspiring, educating and being consistent on all social media platforms. I hope this video has helped you guys understand how to make sales the right way by using digital products as a pre-sale strategy to your affiliate marketing high ticket products. If you want to check out my digital products, you'll find them all down in the YouTube description. That's going to be my time, ladies and gentlemen, to learn more about digital products and or affiliate marketing. Check out this next video right here. Until then, stay blessed and I'll see you on the other side of success.